I show you today the experimental campaign conducted in collaboration between the University of Bologna and the Pfizer Research Laboratories of India. Okay, this is what we will see today. Um, in the last 20 years, um, the aim to have lighter airplanes has led the uh, aeronautical industry to focus their attention on composite material. Composite material gives the opportunity to create uh, integrated structures with less joints that could result in a theoretical weight reduction and also in a reduction in maintenance. And they have very good static and mechanical characteristics. But on the other hand, when you put composite materials in the real operating life, there are many factors that could influence their characteristics and also um, and result, in, uh, result that in a, in a very unpredictable behavior of this kind of material. So, aeronautical industry has found out as a solution the application of a higher safety factor rather than of metallic structures, and also the application of no grow concept. No grow concept say that uh, uh, if you had a composite structure, there has not to be a new damage initiation, and if you have already a damage in your structure, it has not to propagate. So, with this kind of solutions, there is not a fully a full exploitation of this material uh, potential. Damage tolerance design says that if you had a metallic structure, you can see your damage and you can monitor it with an inspection plan until it reaches the uh, critical damage sites because the um, reduction of uh, residual strength is very slow. But if you had a composite material, there could be many factors that could result in a sudden reduction in, uh, in residual strength that could result in a, a catastrophic failure. And this kind of factors could be um, temperature or aging or uh, impacts that maybe are the most um, effective and uh, most uh, evident factors. Impacts could be divided referring to what you can see on your surface structure. And the most dangerous is that called BV, barely, barely visible impact damage because on your surface you can't see anything, but the impact could, be, uh, could have already done a inner damage. So we have focused our attention on this kind of damages. In literature there are many studies about central impact, also BB central impact, but just a few about near edge and on edge impact. That could be the worst conditions. This is because before 2003, the attention to this kind of uh, problem was, was quite low, but it raised the, after the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster. In fact, during the launch of this Space Shuttle, a piece of, um, a piece of foam just struck against the left wing of the Space Shuttle, uh, resulting in a um, uh, through the thickness crack in the thermal protection panel that was a carbon-carbon panel and that resulted in um, the explosion during the re-entering in the Earth atmosphere. So, our um, experimental campaign was conducted on 26 specimens, divided into five groups and the first one was tested only in compression to have a term of comparison for the other four groups that were characterized by different kind of impact, near edge and central impact, and different uh, energy level, three job and five job. We have chosen to use Sharpie pendulum principle to um, perform our impact test. So we have realized this pendulum with a counter beam to equilibrate the bar at the end of which is fixed the swinging mass with a 7 mm diameter impactator, a goniometer, and also a fixture to fix the coupons during tests. After impact test, we have performed compression after impact test, and we chose to use combined loading compression test method. 
because this kind of uh, fixture has some advantages compared to other kind of uh, compression transmitter. And compression after impact was uh, performed to evaluate the variation of compressive residual strength. We have filmed every single impact test with a camera mm -hmm. to be able to evaluate the real angle of release and the real um, rebound angle of the mass to be able to calculate uh, actual energy, residual energy, and also the energy absorbed by the coupons. So these are the results about energy. And after impact test, we have done a um, visual inspection and here there are some examples, but as you can see, there, there are not so many differences between a fragile or a fragile impact. But differences are very high when you look at compression results. The first table is about not impacted coupons, and as you can see, uh, the, com the compressive residual strength is higher and the data scatter is lower compared to that of impacted coupons. Here there are the results for near hedge impacted coupons and here for central impacted coupons. Okay, we have also tested one non not impacted coupon with the strain gauges. One unidirection and one bidirection strain gauge in configuration back to back to be able to evaluate the person bending during the compression test and to exclude the, the uh, buckling problem. And also we were able to calculate the young modules of that laminate. Here there is a synthesis of our result, but if you focus your attention on this second table, especially on group B and group D, there is a variation in compressive residual strength, but it is around 10% and the, it, it seems not to be uh, dependent on you know, uh, the location of impact. While looking at group C and group D, group E, that uh, are referred to um, five jaw impact, you can see that for near edge impact, five jaw, that is group C, there is a, a reduction in compressive uh, residual strength that is more than twice that for um, central impacted coupons. So, we have found out that with a low energy impact, we can have a reduction of compression characteristic of a, a composite structure. And if you have a laminate of 2.6 millimeter thickness, just like our coupons, with a free job uh, impact, um, there is not a dependence of where, is the, uh, where was the impact. But if you had a five and a five down impact, uh, there is a very strong dependence of, uh, from the location. So, near hedge impacts influence more the compressive or the strength um, of a composite material than that for a central impact at the same energy. So, I'll finish.